Here now, The American Investor with your host, Kimberly Cole. Dr. Murphy, tell me about the management of BioHeart. Uh, I've been involved with management of growing companies for quite a few years, and we have here at BioHeart probably the best manager uh, from a corporate point of view uh, of any that I've ever related to in the form of um, uh, Mike Tomas. Mike is very experienced and very effective, very conscientious, and takes responsibility seriously. Technically speaking, we have a very high quality technical person in Kristen Camilla. She's, uh, I hope she's not listening, but she's brilliant. She's not only qualified, but she's articulate. And it's interesting that many times you find that technical people are not articulate. Dr. Murphy, you yourself have made a considerable investment of several million in BioHeart. Any regrets? I'm enthused with my investment in BioHeart of a few million dollars, uh, but I do regret that we have not achieved our goal yet of actually treating all of the patients who need it. Dr. Murphy, in your opinion, what do you think the financial value of BioHeart is? The financial value of BioHeart is, uh, in my opinion, uh, quite major actually, because we are working to treat a deficiency of the human heart, which is pretty common. And that means that there are going to be lots of people that need, need the technology. Interestingly, one of the advantages of BioHeart is the means of putting the cells in the heart. This is not an open chest problem. This is a catheter and go home this afternoon kind of a, of a treatment. And that's dramatically advantageous.